Welcome back to Learn BC. You're here with Jared Case. I hope you're well. I've not been well. Uh, I disappeared for a few days there. Still getting my voice back. Um, we've been in a series called uh, Why Mr. Central. And um, before I get started, please like, share, um, subscribe, all of that stuff. Share the love. Today we're going to talk about uh, Power Apps, Power Automate. So this is pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's get started. Within Business Central, uh, you'll notice when you start using it, um, you go into a particular section like customers and you will see an automate after the pipe. So you've got the menu to the left relates to the, the list view, which is customers. To the right, then you've got actions related, reports, automate. And so no matter where you go, vendors, you'll see there, you've got the ability to automate. You've got, you've got items, you can automate, you've got bank accounts, and automate. So automate's appearing everywhere. And what they mean by that is power automate. And really, really cool, on the box, you can say, you can create me a flow. And so I created one here just as an example. Notify teams when a customer is blocked in Business Central. And so we went and created that flow and it automatically spins this out. Uh, let's take a look at it. I'm going to hit edit. And what a flow is, is a trigger event. So when a Business Central event occurs, all right, uh, from here, um, uh, basically adaptive card, change the title of the adaptive card, post the card in the chart, and this is what it looks like. It's just gone. Transactions of the customer are now blocked. So there's more more depth into this. I, I won't go into at the moment, but that was all spun out by Wizard. Um, for example, I could say, um, uh, notify teams when a purchase order is released in Business Central. So that might be to the win last team. I'll click on that. I just wait a moment. I can go straight to advanced, I won't. Let's just go next. And if you wait, wait for it to load, and you're gonna say, well, I wanna post an update into the service team, into the general chat on Teams. Create flow. Just like that, she's done. Okay, manage your workflow and power automate. Here we are. It's the details, it's that created. So notify teams when purchase order is released in Business Central. So again, looking at that, you're going to see a similar, you got when a business event occurs all the way down to creating a tile card, posting it in the chat. If I go back into Business Central, I'm going to go purchase order, purchase order. Let's go new. Um, first up consultants, uh, just for a desk, I'm going to ask for six and release okay and that should be the trigger event that, that will actually create that conversation that will end up appearing within teams that release now um yeah i I'm, i've literally i've I haven't really looked into that flow before so if we go back to it um yeah it's just run so in teams it's already saying it's notified when your purchase order has been released to blah so it is very cool, and it was so easy. We spun that in a couple of seconds. Okay, I decided to have a bit of a fiddle here, and I created a new client notification. So I built this manually. Okay, and all I did is I started off with when a record is created. So all I said here is in the production environment in this company. Okay, which is actually, uh, if I clear that, it's actually that company. Uh, all you saw there was the good in the customer table. Excuse me. So when a customer record is created, get the record. Okay. Once you get the record, send an email. And that email was very simply to the email address by display name, credit limit, fund regards. And that actually went out and came over like this. And then sent the email out. So the idea that you can automate some processes within uh, Business Central, uh, I just haven't seen this 
in any other platform. I've never seen a platform where you can do really, um, um, you can be really flexible with what you want to do uh, regarding automation. So there's a couple of things here. The license is free with Business Central, but it comes with a constraint, um, depending on what you're using between premium or essentials. Um, for example, it's used, uh, reading the licensing guide here, it's used specifically to extend the features of the Dynamics platform. So what you'll find is when you're actually connecting in using uh, extensions uh, that actually are relating to Business Central, you're able to do it. If you step outside of that, you can actually need to step up into other licensing um, it does state that you can do basic workflows, but premium workflows, you'll end up needing a premium license of Power Automate. So my feeling is if you start going crazy on Power Automate, you're going to want a premium license with Microsoft anyway. Um, but that being said, hey, it's a big world. We're here talking about Business Central and why it's cool. Power Automate makes it so much cooler. Thanks for watching.